My name is John Anthony Cheox Lamettle, and I have a problem. The last two years of my life have been amongst the greatest and the worst that I've ever experienced. I've maintained my sobriety. I even became straight edge, got my health more in order, I've gotten stronger, I've gotten more flexible, created two issues of the Bubba Patrol, working on the Bubba Files, as well as issue three. But recently, the only things that make me happy, the only things that bring me joy, are working out, lifting weights, and working on these projects. Pretty much everything else in my life brings me frustration anger sadness and worst of all apathy this isn't me feeling bad for myself this isn't me sitting here boohooing I process information better if I say it out loud. So I've started to isolate myself. I have begun to disengage from the few friends that I have left. past two years I've lost two people that I thought were my best friends and talking with people I've come to realize that those relationships were somewhat one-sided take on their part maybe it was me just allowing that to happen not blaming anybody somebody's willing to give and the other person's not willing to stop them doesn't even notice it why would that person change but that's not even the point of this video the point of this video is that I have a problem and I have found myself being very reactionary, very knee-jerk, allowing myself to give in to stupid moments of frustration and fear. It feels almost instinctual, the reactions that I have when somebody says something that I might perceive as dumb or flawed. I have found it extremely hard to be empathetic recently. And I've been thinking about this a lot thought about it a lot today I don't know what's going on sometimes you just have to push forward until it passes and that's what I've been doing get up go to work get up work on your art 
get up, maintain relationships with your friends and family, few friends that you have left. Do your best to eat healthy, work out. Try to give yourself time to relax and unwind and to do nothing if that's what it calls for. It's very, very hard to maintain on a daily basis. This isn't This isn't a cry for help. This is me recognizing that there's something going on. And I don't know what to do to stop it, to change it, to alter its course. Essentially, this is just baggage. This is the idea that I want to be better and bigger than I am. And I see weakness and vulnerability in people, and it and it bothers me. Meanwhile, just trying to build up a false front for myself, so that I can keep going. I don't know. things like this that I don't know if I can talk to my folks about <clears throat> or my sister or my friends I don't know if they would understand or the people and their actions that, that make me feel this way I don't know if they would understand that It's not them that I hate. I've always hated myself. I've always <clears throat> hated who I was. Hated what I saw in the mirror. And I thought I finally started to gain a little bit of ground on that. I thought I finally started to have some sort of control over it, some semblance of it, the getting sober, the becoming straight edge, the changing jobs and fixing things financially for myself and working towards even more goals, finally creating this book to give the Bubba's a legacy. And it does, it makes me happy. It makes me happy to see smiles on people's faces when they When they read it, or they see that somebody loves their animals this much, it's a um, lonely road sometimes, though, that I've noticed. And maybe that's just what it is. Maybe that's. Maybe there's nothing to correct. Maybe there's nothing to fix. Um, I don't believe in destiny or fate. I don't. I don't really believe things happen for a reason. I don't believe there's a cosmic balance. 
I believe in being good because it's the right thing to do. I believe in being strong because that's what has worked for me to get myself through all these times. But I also believe in these words that were written and sung by Saul Williams, that vulnerability is power. And to me, that means exposing oneself. That means making oneself vulnerable and, and being okay with it. I don't know if I'll post this or not. I don't know where I intend to go with this. I don't know if this is just an exercise. Even if it's just like in Heroes in Crisis where they talked to the house and the house recorded everything and then was supposed to delete it. I don't know. I'm just bothered by so many things nowadays. The news, politics, headlines. I can't put up the barbell with the weight on it. I can put it up, but I can't put it up as many times as I want to put it up. When the lines I draw aren't straight enough, smooth enough. When the dialogue I have with somebody is incoherent and angry. I feel like I'm just waiting for my moment to talk, which is actually a really lonely and awful feeling. When I'm at work and I can't solve that person's problem, it's not my job to solve their problems, I know. The world is crazy right now. The world is very in turmoil. As much as I feel like maybe I should be doing more, could be doing more, sometimes I just want to say fuck it. It's not my problem. It's not my job to fix the world. It's not my job to fix that person or this person. The only person that I need to concentrate on is me. I had a conversation multiple times with a friend of mine. About Superman. And how with his enhanced physiology, he's more than a genius level intellect because every single cell in his body is enhanced by Earth's yellow sun. He's stronger than anybody. He can fly. He's vulnerable. All these things. Superman could solve all the world's problems. Except for two things. One, the politics and bureaucracy how change in this world actually works. And two, and probably more important, is that Superman's job? And 
and while I'm using Superman as a metaphor because he's a fictional character is that my job to fix the world is it my job to fix a friend or a family member I used to think it was more recently I had a falling out a family member of mine who always wants who always needs who always seems to be a victim and I think about this individual and there's pity in my thoughts sadness in my thoughts for this individual and I think about that and why should I pity somebody why should there be sadness for somebody when you're face down in the gutter everybody feels bad for you everybody pities you Nobody feels bad for you. Nobody pities you when they think you're doing well. When you act like a hard ass. Tell people you're strong. They believe it. They back off. They say they don't need they don't need my assistance. They don't need my help. They don't need me to reach out. Meanwhile, Social media posts just seem to flood it with non-stop people saying, send thoughts and prayers, people saying, my life sucks, people saying, poor me. And we take away the accountability for that. That at some point, someone starts to have to get that shit together. And that's what I'm attempting to do right now with myself, with self actualization and self realization that I am in a bad, bad headspace. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I don't know if I'm supposed to care. I don't know. Right now, I just want to get these projects done fulfillment of my expectation of myself about the stories that need to be told in order to give the Bubba's a legacy. And it's some of the best work I've ever done, which might be one of the reasons why it makes me so happy to work on it, to see the different things, to see the progression, to see the characterizations, the story. But is that enough? I heard somebody or read somebody talking about acceptance some people would call complacency and the struggle that we have in this ever evolving ever changing ever growing society and world that becoming complacent is a bad thing but that we need to look at it as a good thing we need to look at it 
is being comfortable is that not being bad we need to look at it as being happy instead of always looking for that next step that next challenge that next level that next prize to obtain it's a hard thing to do it's a hard expectation to have for yourself and I don't know there's something to be said for being happy with your accomplishments and relaxing and being content that was the word they used content not complacent my whole goal and dream in life was just to be happy to find whatever it was that made me happy and work towards that doing this book makes me happy writing these stories building these characters makes me happy seeing improvement and strength and flexibility and my overall health makes me happy So I may be taking a break from some of my social groups in the near future. I kind of need to just get through what I'm doing right now. I need to be able to hold on at least to get to that next... That next facet, that next level, you know, it would be good. And hopefully, keep working on this. In that time, I'll figure that out too. And I'll begin to be happy. I'll begin to be more content more relaxed, less agitated, so quick to react. I just hope those people who <clears throat> say that they're my friends right now willing to wait and be patient while I figure all this out. Those of you I pissed off and offended and targeted, I think you know who, who you are. I am sorry because I do value you as friends and as people. And I just want to be a better me. And I want you to know that it's not you has nothing to do with you. <clears throat> it's about me. It's about what I'm dealing with. And I'll figure this out. I may not fix it completely. I think we're always ever evolving and changing and improving. But I will make it better. <clears throat>